Hello! Today's video is all about the 4th of July. This simple craft is easy to make with your Cricut machine. I have a Cricut maker so I have a choice. I can use the scoring stylus which goes in the left like this where the pen would go or I can use the scoring wheel which adds a little bit more pressure to your score lines. The scoring single scoring wheel is 01 and you can see the number on there and this goes on the right hand side so you take your blade out pop this one in and the machine and design space will tell you when to change into your blade after the score lines are complete. To remove the cardstock easily flip the mat over and bend the mat rather than the cardstock and that way you don't destroy any part of your design or tear any of the cardstock. I actually used two red and two blue 12 by 12 sheets for this project plus um, I used also white and silver. You can use scraps if you have because you don't need very much for the white and silver bits. So this is it after the score lines and the stars have been cut out. And the easiest way to get the stars off the mat, use your extra large scraper tool. You don't need to use a blade or anything like that. You can actually use these as table decor as well. So if you are making this rosette for a party, you could sprinkle the stars on a table. So the white piece is just a circle and the silver is a circle that goes on the top with an eagle silhouette cut out. So once all the pieces are cut, you can see the cut out stars and then the score lines on here and the silver and the white circles. Now we fold along every score line, alternating the way that you fold between a valley fold and a mountain fold, forwards and backwards all the way along. And you want to do this on every sheet of the cardstock in the blue on the three pieces and also on the red. I've sped it up so you can see what I'm doing here. Just fold along the creases. You can use a scraper tool as well to really define those lines if you wish, but just fold them across every score line until complete. You can see how these go together and they will look amazing. However, they are going to spring right back if we don't glue them or stick them in together in some way. So. We can decide in a minute how we're going to do that and you just put one edge over the other edge and we're going to join it together in a strip. Then we fold all the red and there's no stars on the red, it's just score lines. So fold all the red sheets as well. And once those are done, we are ready to attach everything. This is a tiny glue pot. I actually got a couple of these from the dollar store and it has a precision tip on it, but I fill it with this glue. This is a mixed media glue from Recollections, which I buy at Michael's usually, but you can also get it on Amazon. And I'm in Canada, so it's probably the same uh, for most places that you are. But I love this glue because it does dry really quickly and you don't need that much of it. I did get a bit giddy with this first one and put a bit too much glue on. And it's just going to cause a bit of smudge. You could use your tape gun if that's what you prefer to work with. You could even use uh, glue dots if you have something super sticky or even double sided tape. Whatever you like to use to attach it all together. For the next part I chose to use some tape and these photo mount stickers. Now they're just little square stickers that come on these strips like a little roll in the box. And I find they're quite strong, incredibly sticky. And I figured I would try them and see how well they did. So the photo mount stickers did work to hold it together. However, I figured I would try the glue as well just to see how that did on the same thing. So I'm just putting a bit of glue on one side of each of these folds and then I'm going to have to peg it into place because it takes a little bit for the glue to dry. And the same all the way along here and then peg it all into place and leave it to dry for a few minutes. Once those are dry, they are ready to be stuck together to make the complete circle. And the blue is going to go on top of the red. So you have two edges there. I'm just putting a bit of glue behind the blue around the stars and holding it onto there. Just peg it into place until that glue is dry. And then again, the blue is gonna go on top of the red to tuck the red inside. Actually, it's easier if you flip it over, as I discovered, and pop the glue on the top there again, pegging it into place until the glue is dry. 
Now I was going to use the tape just to hold everything together while I got my hot glue gun, but if you heat the hot glue gun up ready, you won't naturally need the tape. Hot glue dries really fast. You have to be careful. Ideally wear rubber little thimbles so you don't burn yourself. But the hot glue on here is going to hold the whole thing together anyway. So you just have to be quick, get it on the card and put it on the front in the center, squeezing it all together as you do that and keeping it in place. Once that is on there and it's dry, it shouldn't move. Now you can use this as a giant cake topper. If you just add a dowel or a stick, um, cake topper would be perfect. You can hang them, you could make smaller versions and reduce it in design space and make like a whole banner out of them. This is a great door decor. Whatever you want to use this for, I think this would make a really fun decoration for your 4th of July party. Thank you for watching today. If you like my crafts, please do like and subscribe so you can see more of my content. And uh, find me on Instagram and the other socials. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.